All right guys, so we are on the way to Austin, Texas for our end of Q3 team meetup. This is for our team members who hit KPI in Q3. They worked their asses off. We set the benchmark and they surpassed it. And now everyone who did that is getting flown out to Austin. We're gonna have a great time. Uh, a lot of activities, great dinners. Uh, probably talk some business, so stay tuned. Check it out. All right, so here's a very simple framework that we've used. Um, a lot of this is actually due respects given to Hermosi posting a lot of awesome content, but to make it really simple for you guys, when you start to hire employees and you have a team, every single role, it's important that if you want them to succeed, they need to know exactly what you want them to do. They need to know how to do it, and they, didn't, they need to know why they're doing it. And so for the what, it's very clear that you need to explicitly show exactly what outcomes you want them to execute. And that should be on a scorecard, which I'm going to show you guys in a sec. I'll show you an example of Jesus' scorecard. The how, that obviously requires training. If they know what you want them to do, then they need to know how to do it. That's where training comes along and ongoing training, weekly calls, whatever you need to do there. And then why, why comes down to the purpose. Right, we all need purpose. They need to know why are they doing this work and how does it impact the overarching goal. And it's important that they understand that so they they have value in all the effort and work they're putting in to the organization. So to make things more enjoyable, this is where you can start to tie in KPIs and tie them to bonuses and incentives, just like this trip. Right, if they know what the incentive is if they hit kpi before the quarter starts then they're gonna realize hey if i do this work and i put in the result and i get to that benchmark then i'm gonna get flown to austin with the whole team and everything's gonna be paid for and that's gonna be super awesome it's like a mini vacation it's gonna be lit it's gonna be lit so it's important that they know what to do how to do it why they're doing it and then you encourage them to go even harder and strive for higher numbers by incentivizing them with awesome stuff such as bonuses and pay, trips, etc., You can get creative with it. All right guys, here's a real life example of a scorecard in our company. This is specifically for the account management department. We start off with a quick summary of the role. Then we get into the outcomes. These specific outcomes are very KPI driven, except for number four, which I'll get into. But these are what we're measuring them against on a weekly, monthly, and quarterly basis. Number one, you have churn. Churn is a very uh, important KPI. Account management has a huge role play in churn. Next, we have upsells. Uh, this says generate a minimum of 10,000 from upsells from our clients, which is obviously a revenue driving action. And they're able to bump clients up from maybe one campaign to two to three, which is definitely what we're trying to do. Number three, is getting reviews since they are direct points of contact with our clients. We do want a minimum of one Google, Facebook review per month per account manager. And then number four isn't really KPI driven, but it's just overall letting them know to develop strong connections and relationships with our partners, big clients. This obviously has a huge impact on our referral networks and things like that. Down here, you'll see the Austin trip, Q3. What they had to do was upsell $30,000 in monthly reoccurring revenue within the Q3 timeframe. Two of our account managers did that. I think one of them was right around 40, the other one was right around 35. And obviously this is a high revenue generating action. So they hit that and that's why they made it on this trip. Then you just get into critical competencies for A players. These are these things they can read over so they can start to really just develop these into their their ways of operating on a daily basis. Um, they already have a lot of these in general, but we put them there just as a motivator and just to remind people of high value sort of characteristics. But this is a breakdown of a scorecard. Every single person in the company has one. It's very clear on what their mission is, what their outcomes are, and exactly how we're going to measure their performance, whether it's great, good, average, or poor. And then we always include what their big incentive is every quarter, which obviously we do trips every single quarter.
Hey, what's up guys? My name is Anthony. I came in second place for the Digital Ox competition to Austin with, uh, I think I brought in 186 points. So I'm Jesus Ramos. I'm one of the account managers here at Digital Ox. Uh, our KPI was 30K in revenue in three months. Uh, I hit 34K, so now I'm here. <laughs> did we get that on camera? Cheers. All right, guys. Pickle bags. It's a crocodiles and condoms. Cheers. Mazel tov. Digital locks. Yay. Top performers. Yes. Salud. Starting not to like turn that much because it's it's not a real accurate number in terms of finances and growth. AK yes yeah, not. AKA churn, but we're still net negative oh, yeah, yeah. from all the pauses. That's bullshit. That's not a good way to manage a business. So I'm looking at three things. Our gross profit margin. Right now we're at a 70% growth gross profit margin. Our goal is to get to 80. So managing that is gonna be pretty cool. The next one is instead of churn. We're still gonna track churn, but the main thing we wanna track is average monthly retention. So we're at a 9.5. If we get to an 11, which isn't crazy, it meets that goal that I'm gonna show you guys next year, which is insane. It's like, who, can we, if everyone's on board, can we extend another month and a half on average? Yeah. The next one is our average client price point needs to be at 3,500. Right now it's at 3K. You know how easy that is to fix with a a solid sales strategy within account management from onboarding to like creating this timeline from three to 3,500 bet. You know how fucking easy that is? That's not including our set our new setup fee, correct? No. Okay. Dude, that, that's just a one time fee. Yeah, so you have, if we have an average client price point at 3,500, right now it's three, we could solve that. Retention's at 9.5, go to 11. That's like not crazy. We could solve that. Gross profit margin from 70 to 80. We could solve that. And then the, the hardest one, well, they're all gonna be hard, but this one's gonna be hard too. Having 30 schedulers, 275 campaigns, that number basically, were a mil a month. 100%. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's and you factor in the pH on that. Imagine you have eight pHers in there. Piaccio. Paradise Hills? Paradise Hills, oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. So that wraps up our Q3 Austin trip. We had a great time. Where are we headed next? We're going to Denver, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Denver or San Diego, we haven't picked yet. But Depending what the weather's like. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Q3 was a blast. Shout out to all our top performers. And uh, If you found any value, like, subscribe. Obviously you already know, me posting agency shit. Um, if you guys want me to Make a video on anything specific, drop it in the comments. I might think about it and I might do it. So post in the comments, like, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed it.